Now, from WCIA 3 News. How often do you get to play golf on a nice weather the day after Christmas? Jack Frost stayed away this week. How people are enjoying the warm weather. The Illinois Department of Corrections has less than a month to figure out how they will handle transgender inmates. What's causing them to make some changes? A community mourns the loss of their former coroner. Why some say she brought special qualities to the table. You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 6. Good evening, I'm Mark Maxwell. And I'm Jennifer Jensen. Today's temperature is a pleasant surprise for people on the day after Christmas. WCIA 3's Courtney Bunting is live in Champaign. Courtney, the warm weather had lots of people out today. Yeah, absolutely, Jennifer, in all kinds of places, just enjoying the day. And for some, it was an excuse to add something new to their Christmas traditions, and for others, to create completely new ones. I don't recall if it's ever been this warm the day after Christmas up here. You may have been dreaming of a white Christmas, but it looks like Santa had something different in mind this year. We didn't think we'd get another game in before next spring, but we were able to get one in. These golfing buddies say they're usually finished with their season long before now, but the abnormal warmth is giving them another chance to take a swing. Usually the end of October, rarely in November, hardly, I don't remember ever playing in December. For others, like Rachel Lowry and her family, the change has added a new twist onto a holiday tradition of visiting Hardy's Reindeer Ranch. We've been here before and it's been snowing and covered in inches of snow and we still come out here, but so it's been really nice today to watch the kids play. Owner Julie Hardy says the crowds were smaller compared to earlier this week, but today was a chance for people to enjoy some areas that are often dormant in the bitter cold. Normally this time of year, people don't get to enjoy our play area and just be outside and, you know, enjoy the weather. So uh, it's kind of more pleasant for our staff and for us as well. Overall, most don't have any complaints about getting a glimpse of springtime in December. I talked to leaders at the U of I golf course and they said they had about 200 people going there to golf today. They say those numbers are more consistent with what they see in the springtime. Reporting live in Champaign, Courtney Bunting, WCIA 3, your local news leader. All right, Courtney, thanks. A Sheldon home was destroyed after an overnight fire. More than 10 crews responded to a call early this morning. Once firefighters got there, the house was already consumed in flames. It took nearly five hours to put it out. An investigator said the cause was likely electrical. Nobody was hurt. A court ruling means major changes for transgender inmates in Illinois prisons. From now on, the Department of Corrections must assign inmates to housing based on their declared gender identity, not their sex at birth. An Illinois prison board that approves medical treatment decisions for transgender inmates must also allow access to medical care if an outside medical professional would recommend it. The American Civil Liberties Union celebrated the judge's decision as a sweeping victory for transgender inmates. It can include things like hormone therapy, uh, which is repeatedly uh, denied or delayed. Uh, social transitions, so access to gender-affirming clothing and grooming items uh, for uh, many prisoners, uh, many individuals with gender dysphoria, surgery is medically necessary. The court order includes multiple demands which center around the treatment of transgender inmates behind bars. The state faces a deadline of January 22nd to outline how they will adjust and make those changes. People in Danville are mourning the loss of a woman who played a big role in her community. Former Vermilion County Coroner Peggy Johnson died on Christmas Eve. WCIA 3's Karina Rubio is live in our newsroom now. Karina, do we know how she died? Jennifer, her daughter says that she suffered a stroke. Now her friends and family are remembering all the hard work that she put in over the years. The job of a coroner can be especially tough. They're often the bearer of bad news when dealing with death every day. But fellow co-workers say former Vermilion County Coroner Peggy Johnson brought something special to the job. It was her ability to be compassionate. She had a, a huge heart and a, a large... Um, capacity for compassion mm -hmm. and understanding 
what people were going through and putting herself into their shoes. Current coroner Jane McFadden says that compassion and understanding is what earned Johnson several re-elections as coroner for 16 years before retiring in 2016. She was also part of law enforcement for more than 20 years. But co-workers say her big heart led her to help others in the community too. Johnson also worked at the Danville YWCA, helping women who were victims of violence and domestic abuse. And what she learned there, she was able to use in sensitive situations as coroner. She had a way with talking to people and making them feel at ease. Uh, she was just a wonderful person. A wonderful person who will be greatly missed by her husband, kids, and grandkids. Johnson's family said their final goodbyes to her on Christmas Eve after she suffered a stroke. This is just really kind of unexpected and tragic for her whole family mm -hmm. and for us as a community. Funeral arrangements for Johnson will be at Sunset Funeral Home. Friends say her services will likely be held after the new year to give family time to make trips from out of town. Back to you. Karina, thank you for sharing that story. Springfield is bringing back the Mayor's Award for the Arts. The award first started in the 80s and is given to area's best artists. Anybody in Sangamon and Menard County is eligible for the award. It's been on hiatus through the past five years. The Springfield Area Arts Council decided to bring it back to honor all of the great art the city produces. The Springfield area, Sangamon, Menard County, is a very vibrant cultural center for central Illinois. And we think it's important to raise the profile of the arts occasionally. The award focuses on two categories, one for visual arts and one for performing arts. The deadline to nominate someone is December 30th. You have the chance to give a gift of life. We'll tell you where you can donate blood tomorrow. Illinois football's coverage today kicks off in downtown San Francisco. I'm Brett Barron's alive, awaiting the team's arrival here within the next 30 minutes or so. We'll have a report coming up in sports. And these warm conditions continue to keep things about 30 degrees above average. How long is it going to continue? All the details after this. WCIA 3 News is sponsored by Classic Granite and Marble. Step into Everyday Kitchen and enjoy familiar favorites with a creative twist. Try our savory slow roasted meats from our unique Spitfire Grill or grab a drink at the full bar featuring regional beers, American wines, and craft cocktails. Serving lunch and dinner daily with brunch on Sundays. You'll always find a warm welcome, honestly good food and drinks to savor at Everyday Kitchen Restaurant and Bar. Raising the bar every day. Everyday Kitchen located next to Logic Everyday Community at the corner of Neal Street and Fox Drive. Get healthy and look great. The Champagne Fitness Center has everything you need to help you succeed. They have a huge free weight and machine area, functional training space, circuit class, Zumba, step, turbo kick, yoga, professional personal trainers, extensive silver sneakers, young at heart programs, and at the end of your workout, enjoy a dry sauna. Head to Champagne Fitness Center at Round Barn Center or visit ChampagneFitnessCenter.com. Real people, real fitness. Toro is America's number one brand of snowblowers. So you know you can trust Toro to power you through deep snow faster. Throwing it farther. Leaving your path cleaner. With innovations that make it easier. And now Toro snowblowers are even more powerful and more durable than ever before. This winter, don't take snow for an answer. Toro, count on it. It's about the heart and the caring. We really are in tune to what the patient needs. Not what we do, but how we do it. And it's the small things that makes the difference. We can't cure everyone, but we can care for everyone. The WCA3 Gift of Life Blood Drive is tomorrow. Please donate. Donate blood at these locations in Champaign, Urbana, Springfield, Danville, Forsyth, and Mattoon. The WCIA3 Gift of Life Blood Drive is in honor of Dave Benton and Robert Reese. WCIA3 News is sponsored by Edelman Electric Plumbing and HVAC. Now Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with Amelia Henderson. 
Well, it's been quite a stretch of warm days the past few, and today it was so warm, we actually broke a record from 1942. That record was 59 degrees. Today, we reached 61, and that warm air is continuing to move on into the area and bringing warmer conditions for the next few days. Now tonight, clouds are still continuing to develop on into the area as well as low pressure developing, so we could be seeing maybe a sprinkle or two later on tonight. Temperatures still into the 50s, but 60 degrees, the warm spot right now in Effingham, 50 in Champaign, 54 in Decatur, 59 over in Springfield. As we continue later on tonight into the early start of tomorrow morning, we are going to be dipping down into the low 40s, even into the 30s in some areas, and quickly warming back up tomorrow, it's going to be another spring feeling day 49 degrees could be a little bit warmer than that in some areas of our viewing area as well so enjoy the warmth while you can as well as these dry conditions because unfortunately they won't be sticking around very long a low pressure system will be developing bringing us some showers heavy downpours for the second half of the day on Saturday and also continued into your Sunday but let's talk about these temperatures here we're well above average for the next few days here we're actually going to be back into the 60s for your Sunday, and then a cold wave is moving on in, but it's really going to keep us still above average the rest of December and even into the start of your 2020. Now, breaking things down a bit further here on future track again for your Saturday, if you do have any outdoor plans, any errands you may need to run, do it during the first half of the day, maybe into the morning hours before this low pressure system tracks in these disturbances, showers, and then becoming downpours as we continue into the pre dawn hours of your Sunday. You can see that green here. And then we will be seeing a little bit of a break in the action as we go into the day on Sunday, but then another round of low pressure will be developing. Showers Sunday night, and then that's when this cold front will be moving on into the area. You can see some snow, this blue here, main, mainly up north in areas such as Watsika and Pontiac, and then it's going to clear on out as high pressure develops for the second half of the day on Monday, and then much clearer, drier conditions the rest of the work week next week. Tonight, temperatures are falling, but still about 30 degrees above average. Should be 20, 25 or so above average, I should say. 40 degrees tonight, and again, we could be seeing a sprinkle or two. Clear day for tomorrow, just partly cloudy skies, and the warm conditions continue. 49 degrees for your Friday. 58 on Saturday, 60 degrees on Sunday. We bumped those temperatures up on Sunday because this cold front is tracking and a little bit slower than what we expected. So that cold air really won't be reaching us until we go into the early start of your Monday. And with that cold air, those showers potentially could be turning in to some flurries for the early start. You're commuting as you go off to work on Monday. Could be seeing those flurries. But other than that, not too bad. After this warm weather, I'll take it. Absolutely, especially for it being December. Can't complain. Amelia, thanks. One woman spent a lot of time in a hospital waiting room with her late husband. How that changed her mind about the importance of donating blood. Congratulations to Avery Still, Sullivan High School Basketball Standout, and WCIA3's Athlete of the Week. Nominate your favorite Athlete of the Week at WCIA.com. Sponsored by Loman Ray Insurance Group. Some things just can't last forever, like slushy here. And our best offer of the year during the final days of the Built for the Holidays sales event. Hurry in now and get 20% estimated savings on select 2019 Ford models, plus earn complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards. These deals won't last forever. Now get total estimated savings of $11,613 on a 2019 F-150, or choose zero for 72 financing. I didn't choose this exact type of metastatic breast cancer, but I did pick Clarity by knowing I have a treatment that goes right at it. Discover PicRay, a treatment that specifically targets PIC3CA mutations in HR-positive, HER2-negative MBC. PicRay is taken with fulvestrin after progression on hormone therapy and helps people live longer without disease progression. Do not take PicRay if you've had severe allergic reactions to it or any of its ingredients. PicRay can cause serious side effects, including severe allergic and skin reactions, high blood sugar levels, and diarrhea that are common and can be severe, and pneumonitis. 
Tell your doctor right away if you have symptoms of severe allergic reactions or high blood sugar while taking Picray. Your doctor will monitor your blood sugar before and during treatment, and more often if you have type 2 diabetes. Before starting, tell your doctor if you have a history of diabetes, skin reactions, are or plan to become pregnant or breastfeeding. Common side effects include rash, nausea, tiredness, weakness, decreased appetite, mouth sores, vomiting, weight loss, hair loss, and changes in some blood tests. Ask your doctor about Picray. Ashley Home Store's New Year's sale is going on now. Get up to 30% off, plus buy today and save an additional 10%. Or get 0% interest for six whole years with no minimum purchase. Ashley Home Store. This is home. The most accurate forecast with weather alerts and interactive radar. Live streaming on 3 News Now. The WCIA 3 weather app. Always on. Download it today. The WCIA 3 News app, always on. Live streaming on 3 News Now. Breaking news and live video. Many parts of central Illinois under a winter weather. The WCIA 3 News app, download it today. Live from your local news leader, Jennifer Roscoe, Paul Cicchini, Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Kevin Whitey and Brett Barron's on sports. You're watching WCIA 3 News at 6. She went from a sporadic blood donor to a reliable one. One woman shares how time she spent in a hospital waiting room gave her perspective with her late husband changing her outlook on donating blood. WCIA 3's Jen Lask has that story. From 1996 to 2000, Ramona Sullivan spent lots of times in hospitals, doctor's offices, and waiting rooms with her husband, Lionel Williams. My late husband was diagnosed with a condition called Marfan syndrome in 1996. Williams had a successful heart transplant on June 16, 2000 but died from Marfan complications three weeks later. Sullivan had been a blood donor since she was 17, but admitted she was sporadic. It wasn't until she began spending time at hospitals with Williams that she began donating consistently. I just saw repeatedly over the period of years how much need there is for blood and how it literally saves your life. When Sullivan began donating more frequently herself, she also began recruiting others, including two people who are dear to her heart. Matthew and Catherine, her children with Williams. Catherine sent her mom a picture the first time she donated, and the three came together for a special donation. His 50th birthday would have was this past March, and so his kid, both of his kids and I all came in. That's how we, that's what we did for his 50th birthday. It was a family blood giving party. Each year, donations made at the blood center are used to help more than 200,000 patients recovering from illnesses or injuries. Sullivan is O negative, meaning her donations could help anyone. So that puts sort of an extra layer of awe to the whole situation. I know that not a drop of my blood is ever wasted. Sullivan knows there are more people out there who can help and she's calling on them to make a difference. If you're healthy enough to give blood and you're eligible to give blood, and you're not giving blood, what are you waiting for? You can literally save a life. In Urbana, Jen Lask, WCIA 3, your local news leader. And you can help us spread the word about the WCIA 3 blood drive. That happens tomorrow. You can donate at any of our locations from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. We'll have a list of locations and a place to register on our website at WCIA.com. Up next, WCIA 3 Sports Director Brett Behrens will have a look at how the Illini are enjoying the California sun before their bowl game. We'll be right back. WCIA 3 News is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Certified the most accurate forecast for the seventh year in a row. Trust meteorologist Kevin Lighty, Adam Claybaugh, Jack Griffin, and Amelia Anderson. WCIA 3, your local weather leader. When people miss out on what they want, they get a little frustrated. You okay? Don't be like them. Get what you want, like a shiny new Honda with incredible year-end clearance savings. Every Honda is clearance priced during Happy Honda Days, so you save on the 2019 best SUV brand, like HRV, CRV, Passport, and Pilot. Drive home the CRV today for $259 a month. Get up and go to your Central Illinois Honda dealer. Don't miss out. Wimpy trash bags. Come on. Hefty, hefty, hefty! Hey ladies, buy Hefty Ultra Strong at a low price. 
I wish. Get hefty ultra strong. Cost less than Glad Force Flex were sold head to head. Oh, heavenly hand cream. Heavenly hand cream? My hands get so dry and cracked, I need serious relief. That's why I use O'Keefe's Working Hands. It's America's number one selling hand cream for guaranteed relief of dry, cracked hands. Thanks to O'Keefe's, I got my hands back. <laughs> At Chevy, we're all family. We're a festive family. We're a get-up-and-go family. We're all part of the Chevy family. Because our Chevy employee discount is still available to everyone. The Chevy price you pay is what we pay. Not a cent more. So Happy New Year and welcome to the family. The Chevy family. Use your Chevy employee discount for everyone to get a total value of over $11,800 on this Silverado All-Star. The Chevy employee discount for everyone ends soon. We were trying to do some updating to our kitchen, and we went in and talked to Matt in the store. I felt like he was kind of gaining an idea of my personality and what I wanted, and so he's like, hey, I think I found something you're really going to like. They were very meticulous and very particular about it, which I loved. They clean, they picked up after themselves. I love our granite. Everybody that comes in always wants to touch it, and they're like, whoa, this is really different, and I was thrilled with the whole process as a whole. I'm thrilled with how it's all turned out. The Illinois football team arrives in California today. The Illini are just four days away from playing in their first bowl game in five years. The buzz is building. WCI3 Sports Director Brett Barnes kicks off our coverage from San Francisco tonight. He's already there, joining us now live. Brett, how's it going out there? Good evening. It's a beautiful night here in San Francisco. The Alana expected to arrive any time, expected to land across the bay in Oakland any minute now. Then they'll journey across the bay and be here at the Hyatt Regency in downtown San Fran, where I am right now awaiting their arrival. We'll have all kinds of coverage coming up tonight at 10 on that. But we start on a newsworthy day today with several awards for the orange and blue. And it makes sense for as good of a season as they have had that these accolades continue for the Alana. Dele Harding and Blake Hayes, both named All-American picks today. Harding, a third-team selection from Phil Steele after his standout year. He's second in the NCAA in tackles and the Big Ten leader. Hayes is an honorable mention selection after winning the Big Ten Punter of the Year Award. For more on him, head to WCIA.com. We caught up with his parents at 5. They made the trip all the way from Australia to be here. On top of it all, Dick Buckus adds another prestigious honor to his resume. An all-time All-American first-team member by ESPN in its list of the greatest college football players in history. The program also announced its all-decade team for offensive players today with quarterback Nathan Shieldhouse headlining the list, named the offensive player of the decade. Chase McLaughlin is the kicker of the decade, along with Dre Brown, the kickoff returner. But it's Shieldhouse who stands above the rest, and for good reason. He led the Illini the last time they played here in San Francisco to a win in the Kraft Fight Hunger Bowl back in 2011. He accounted for more than 8,000 yards in his career and was a unanimous pick to win the award. Champagne's very own Mikel LaShore, also a unanimous selection to the all-decade team. The running back led Illinois in rushing yards in back-to-back -back seasons and will forever be remembered for his school record-breaking performance at Wrigley Field when he racked up 330 yards rushing against Northwestern. Colonel Illini Reggie Corbin, the other running back, he broke out last year rushing for more than 1,000 yards after putting up just 78 the year before. A.J. Jenkins, another unanimous pick after finishing his career third on the all-time receptions and yardage list, including his 12-catch, 268-yard game against Northwestern back in 2011, helping him get to the NFL. Fan favorite Mike Dudek on pace to shatter the Illini record book after his outstanding freshman season, but multiple injuries ended his career, leaving fans asking what could have been if he had stayed healthy. Gmo, Geronimo Allison, the other wideout, recognized the junior college transfer led the Illini in receptions and yards in 2015, now a big-time contributor for the Green Bay. Packers. Jeff Allen, Nick Allegretti, Ted Karras, Hugh Thornton, and Graham Posick are the linemen. For even more Illini football coverage, watch our half an hour special Bowl Bound 2019. It starts right after our newscast here at the bottom of the hour on WCIA 3. And like I mentioned, we'll have a lot more coverage coming up tonight at 10 once the Illini finally arrive here. I know a lot of anticipation for the players. They're a little bit late off their charter coming from Champaign. But depending on traffic, they should be here uh, in the next couple of minutes. We'll have all kinds of updates on WCIA.com, also on Twitter and Facebook throughout the night before we rejoin you live here from San Francisco at 10 o'clock. But for now, reporting live in San Francisco, I'm Brett Behrens. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio. All right, Brett, we hope they get a lot of rest there in San Francisco, not out on the town too late tonight. Thanks.
All right, well, what will the weather bring for the rest of us this week? We'll find out with Amelia Henderson coming up next. Sports on WCIA3 is brought to you by PNP Heating and Cooling. They are like incredible. <laughs> they definitely live up to their name, Minuteman Press. I came in, I didn't have an appointment. They were just like, what can we do for you, Chef? And I was like, this is what I need. They was like, we'll get somebody else. Every type of material, I've basically worked with them. From the cascading roll-up banners. To flyers, to posters, to business cards. To trade show displays. They never let me down. So I couldn't do what I do without having a nice local printer, and I'm so happy that I found them. Get in the holiday spirit with the great deals at Jackson Ford in Decatur. Whether you're looking for new Fords or pre-owned vehicles, we have a huge selection to choose from. Check out our entire selection at jacksoncars.com. Before you send your kids off to school, be prepared with the WCIA3 Storm Team Bus Stop Forecast. Mornings at 5.53, 6.53, and the news at 9 on X49. Sponsored by Edelman Electric, Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. Let Sunsinger inspire your senses this season. All your favorites, plus new fall-infused creations, complemented by fine wine, craft beer, and premium spirits. Sunsinger is open daily for lunch and dinner. Weekend brunch starts at 10 a.m. It's the big grand opening at the new Shields and Rentool. The lot is filled with hundreds of vehicles, all discounted and ready to drive home. Take 20% or more off MSRP on select Ford cars, trucks, and SUVs. Employee pricing continues on Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and Ram. In addition, Shields is giving away a truckload of prices and random drawings all month long. Hurry, the savings and prices end December 31st. Stop in, see the dealership, register to win prices at the big grand opening at Shields and Rentool. Start your next project and save big money now at Menards. This Stiebel Eltron electric tankless water heater saves energy by providing a reliable source of hot water as you need it. Right now it's on sale for just $629.99. Save on a new Delta faucet. This porter bath faucet comes in an oil rubbed bronze finish, just $79.99. This liquid bath faucet features spot shield technology on sale for just $129.99. Take advantage of these great deals now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Break out your ties and tennies for a night of fun to benefit the Champaign Park District Jimmy John's Youth Scholarship Program. Enjoy heavy hors d'oeuvres, raffles, wine pool, and live entertainment on January 9th at Virginia Theater. Get tickets to ties and tennies now at champagneparks.com. High school sports are back. Join WCIA3 and honoring our Athlete of the Week. Nominate an outstanding high school student online at WCIA.com. One boy and one girl will win a $500 scholarship. Sponsored by Loman Ray Insurance Group. WCIA3 News is sponsored by the Housing Authority of Champaign County. Well, throughout our Thursday, we've been seeing unseasonably warm conditions, and it's only going to continue throughout our night and into the next few days here. Friday, 49 degrees, partly cloudy skies. Enjoy the dry conditions while we have them, because as we go into Saturday and also Sunday, as well as the early start of Monday, we are going to be seeing a low-pressure system track on into the area, bringing us some disturbances. Rain showers for the second half of the day on Saturday. More showers for your Sunday, and then much drier the rest of the work week. Amelia, thank you. Now that Christmas is over, you may be cleaning up around the house. I know I've got some cleaning up to do. And firefighters warned us earlier, throw out the live tree. But don't toss those leftover candy canes out just yet. It's time to celebrate all those, uh, those candy canes. Today is National Candy Cane Day. And here are some fun facts for you. The first candy cane was hung on a Christmas tree back in 1882. Red and white striped candies were all handmade back then until someone invented a candy cane machine in 1921. The traditional peppermint flavor is a big hit, but you can also find a variety of striped colors and flavors. The average length for a candy cane comes in at five inches, but the Guinness World Record, the longest candy cane, 51 feet. Can you believe it? I can't. Coming up next in the show, we will continue coverage of Illinois California trip in our Bowl Bound Special. That is coming up next.